perch coming. Ooh, got him. Quite a few trucks in the lot. Alrighty, the ice highway. This came from a different lake, it was absolutely terrible. So we're coming here and uh, hopefully the bite's a lot better. Well, you can sure tell where they were at least once biting. Literally everyone is along this side. South Dakota ice. Let's see which way we want the truck. Yeah, the wind's coming this way, so honestly, the truck just like this will be perfect. Ugh, the good old South Dakota. Hopefully, we can set up once, find the fish, get after it. Yeah, we can probably get away with, honestly, even those two. That's a lot of ice. A lot of ice. <laughs> and it's not even all the way through. One, two, three, four, five. Minnow rod. Minnow rod. weapons should we use today? Actually, you know what? We'll do all of them but those two. Got five rods. Five different baits. We're getting them today. Let's see what this is reading. I got fish below me. I'm in six and a half. Fish down there. Right now. Right below us. Want to talk soon? Yep. Start you off with that. All right, got all set up. I'm running the pink buckshot, tipped with two waxies. Thawing out the tip ups, they froze up, and we're gonna go put those out. Step outside the shack here in a second. We got snow bears right to our right, we got a bunch of permanents, and they all just flocked in kind of once we got here. There were a few here uh, when we were pulling up, but apparently word on the street is this is the hot bite, so what would you call a good day, Jesse? Seven fish, eight fish? This year? Yeah, this year. <laughs> Fish. Yeah, no kidding. It's been tough. But as you can see, 6.7 feet of oil, now 5.7. We got about 22 inches of ice or so, so um, hopefully we can sit here and have a school come through every so often and do some luck. I do have a minnow rod down this hole as well, but all right, see if we can get some. Let's see what all this is. Oh, right next to us. Snow bear, snow bear, permanent. I don't know what this guy's doing. He's got a sled on the back of his truck. Seems like this is the spot. How's it going? What's up? Well, you didn't know, have a single one. We were on dry two right before this, and we had one northern. Yeah, we just pulled up right before you guys. We just sat down and started. But Where are you guys from? Nebraska. Omaha. Well, Fremont and Omaha. You got a YouTube channel? Yeah. yeah I, like I recognize videos. your voice. Yeah. yeah, that's what a lot of people say. They recognize my voice. Yeah. I was like, okay. Yeah, you ain't missing anything right here. I'll be damned. They said follow the snow bears. And yeah, the snow bears just pulled up to us. They did? Oh. Yeah, they weren't here when we pulled in. It's a tough bite everywhere, I think. Yeah, I wish I could tell you we got our limit already, but we <laughs> did have your limit. we're about every single fish away from a limit. <laughs> well, they're going to go try right there. Nice people. Well, I saw some fish on the grass. Oh, really? Ooh, but there's one right there. They literally just go past it or they just go up to it. Not very hungry. No, your minnow though was kicking there for a hot minute. <laughs> <laughs> See if we can whip something up. If not, we're just gonna have to resort to the old Pepsi's down there. Really? One up high. Swim right past me. All right, well, I'm gonna throw out a tip up. Try to up the odds. I'm just running with the walleye hook and the minner. All right, good luck. Full oh, cool. Oh gosh. Oh my gosh, they're coming in every which way. I guess the perch don't like that. Well, maybe they'll start to get active and pluck one here and there. Oh, come on, he's not. Got him. 
There we go. Perchy on the day. Not a bad perch. I think the other one was bigger. 10 hours later. Yeah. <laughs> Holy crap. We've been sitting here for a while, but we just started marking a lot of them. So, all right. We got some dinner. This one came in. I was sitting there beating the bottom. This one came in firing up and hit it two or three times. Let's go for five. We'll go for five. That'll be a good meal. Get the underwater camera down. Another one coming in. Oh, he's right here. Walleye. On me. Right off the bottom. Oh, he just shot away. Oh, he's coming back. He likes it jigged hard. Oh, perch coming. Oh, got him. Wow. Oh my God. That is. That's sad. <laughs> Did you see how aggressive I was jigging that getting him? Wow, that might be the smallest wall I've caught. All right, things are picking up. Let's do this. I'll uh, let this monster swim again. Yeah, I was going like this and he came up to it and I slowed it down. And he didn't like it. Oh, yep. Uh, he just about hit you. You just moved it out of his mouth. A whole school of them. I think he just hit you. Yeah. Oh, I just saw him yeet. I'm about to get this one too. Oh, that's a big one. Oh no, I pulled it right out of his mouth. I got hit, you got hit, and that's a big dog. That's a big dog. There's a whole school of them that came in. Sasha, I, oh, we got your minnow. I saw him hit yours right at the beginning. He hit it, oh, here we go, here we go. What the, I'm hitting him on the head. Come on, buddy. Come on. I thought about that. I wondered if I should switch it, especially now that it's getting into that prime time. That was a good school perch that came through. Oh, you got one coming. You got one coming. Get him. Oh! Oh! Yep, yep. He's coming. He's coming. Yep, you go it like that. Slowly raise it. Yep, there's one looking. He's like, all right, I just tried it and it got ripped out of my face. I'm pretty good at doing that. He's just staring down there. I miss mine, you miss yours. He got his. His was the big one. Oh, I just lifted out his mouth. That's a solid perch right there. That's a good one. Yeah, Dude, that's a fat one. perch. That's a good looking perch right there. Yours is 12 and a half, almost 13. Real fat. All right, two on the day. Oh, whole school, whole school. Coming up to you, Sash. Oh, God, he did not want to do it. They're still right below you. He came shooting out from this way. Oh, here he comes. And it held still. What is wrong with you? He just came in, torpedoed, and missed it. Oh, he's shooting up to yours. Oh, here he comes, here he comes. I got a perch on me. I got a perch on me. He's just hitting it. There's another one down there. Just barely tapping it. Oh no, he went away. That's a good perch. How big's that wall? That's the one that just darted over to me and missed it. A decent one or a small guy? Decent one? Yeah. No. Oh, he's right on me. He just missed it. Gosh dang it. I should have set the hook right as he did it, but I didn't want to scare him. Oh, yep, right on me. Got him. That's a big boy. That's a good one. Oh yeah, baby. Oh my gosh. Chunky. Is there more down there? Yeah, they're all over. On my side? You can fish down my hole if you want. Holy bejeebers. Okay, I'll show you guys this in a second. I'm gonna turn the lights on. Dude, that is a freaking tank. I think that one's bigger than yours, ain't it? I watched him on the camera with the infrared. That's the only reason I knew he was hitting. God, that was cool. Honestly, that was worth it for my day. Let's check this dude out. He's a big dog. Oh my gosh. That's a big boy. 
Let's see what he is compared to yours. That was the other big one. Mine's fatter and taller, but yours might have me on length. Oh. Yeah. No, I think I actually got gotcha. you. Here's some nice freaking perch. Can it touch 13? Not quite. That's cool. I like big perch. Sorry you guys couldn't see that. It got dark on us. Terrible day for the first three hours turned into something. The first three? I was just saying. Well, I guess the first eight hours, but first three at this place. Or if they're coming in, I could put my hand over it like this so it doesn't go down the hole. Yo! Got a walleye. He was just chilling on my tip up. He swallowed it, unfortunately. Oh, little feller. He didn't even raise the flag. I'm ready. Go deal with this inside the hut. We were packing up, about ready to leave. <laughs> you got one too? <laughs> Yeah, so did mine. I'm gonna go deal with this in here. Yeah, Lee, we were just packing up and we got two walleye. We ain't gonna make it. Yeah, I know. That's why I was like, I hate to keep a walleye like this, but they're gonna die anyway, unfortunately. I don't even know if I got that on film, but honestly, we just started the truck. We were packing up. Whew, that was cold. All right, guys. Well, not the best outing, but uh, honestly, we got some fish. Been out since uh, sunup to sundown and even past sundown, as you can see. We ended up with, I think, four walleye, four perch. Honestly, the perch were real nice and big. Walleye, not so much, but uh, we're gonna turn this into a catch and cook, so. All right, and this is what we got on the lineup today. I'm here. <laughs> All right, as you can see, we're in the kitchen. We got something special we've been wanting to make for you guys. Sash. Perch, mac, and cheese. We're doing some perch mac and cheese today. Last time we started messing around the kitchen, you guys seemed to like our experiment. So we're here yet again to experiment the kitchen once more. We're gonna get straight to it and we're gonna try to whip up some old perch mac and cheese. We do have a couple of those little walleye mixed in and we had a day before that we had a couple little doinks. So uh, we're gonna cook the walleye in with that too. Perch, walleye, mac and cheese, let's do it. Rocking with the sharp cheddar, we got the mozzarella cheese. For now, I'm going to do some chopping on some spinach for a little bit of finishing touches and to get extra nutrients. Got the nutrients. Alright, we're not waiting for a boil, we're getting to it. Sasha's hanger. And I'm gonna cut the meat up into little chunks. It should be pretty good. We've been wanting to do this for a while. All right, fish is prepped. And we are basically done with that. Professional egg cracker. Oh, is there any shell in there? Nope, nope. all right, you passed. <laughs> Give it a little whip and nay and call her good. Got some Cajun style short lunch on today's agenda. Some of that in here. Your egg is all whisked. I'm gonna give her a sec to let that warm up. We're gonna put the fish and the egg in the batter in the pan on top of the mac and cheese. Yum. <laughs> Early noodles, skin soft. Oh yeah. We're gonna let those go for about five minutes, just kind of cooking in there. Then we're gonna put them in this pan and we'll show you later. Let's get to the fish. Nice steamed fish oil. <laughs> so we're gonna get that nice and flat right there. We're gonna put a layer of cheese and then we're gonna put some more noodles, another layer of cheese. Then top it with the perch. And the fish is ready to be flipped. Rotate it so the heat's on this side now and those cook better. Making it extra cheesy. All right, so we're just gonna set this to semi-low temperature. Now you can probably go like 250, just to kind of melt the cheese on top. We're just kind of slow cooking it. <laughs> just eating plain noodles. <laughs> These are about done. Oh yeah, nice and crispy. All right, gonna finish up the rest of the perch and walleye with this. 
All right, give it a little bit for those. We'll be eating good. Three minutes, give her the flip. How's it going over there? Just waiting for you. Let that kind of melt in there. We'll set a timer for, we'll go four minutes. Oh, that's so good. Really? Yeah. Perch is pretty good. Mm. <laughs> Don't mind if I do. <laughs> All right, and the fish is done. Turn that off. Look at the finished product. We're gonna put that on top of that, mixed in with that. Bon mm. appetit. Ding. Oh yeah. Oh wow. yeah. So. <laughs> There you have it. Perch, mac and cheese. Perch and walleye, mac and cheese. That looks like a good one. Good work. Good idea too. That looks wonderful. <laughs> Coming out quite a bit. A little more cheese maybe. Yeah, I put a lot on. All right, there you have it. Mm. Good? Yeah. Let's try. Wow. Steal your fork. So good. Some perch. Mac and cheese. This is probably one of my favorite ones. Mm -hmm. That was a good idea. Maybe, maybe could have used a little bit more cheese or we shouldn't have let it sit quite as long. Cheese got a little bit hard. Honestly though, this is probably our favorite uh, catch and cook that we've done. Mm -hmm. That was a good one. Honestly, we like messing around in the kitchen. Uh, this was actually her idea. Good work, Sash. And huge shout out to my buddy Jesse for letting us uh, actually keep the fish. He caught a couple of the perch and walleye, I think, too. Look at that right there, folks. Perch, walleye, mac and cheese. That one was definitely a 10 out of 10. This, if not, my favorite catch and cook that we've done. Hopefully y'all enjoyed that experiment in the kitchen. This was definitely a good one. That one was a good one. Good work, Sash. We had a good time out there. Fishing was a little bit slow, but we figured, you know what? We're gonna turn it into something kind of cool and unique, and uh, that's exactly what we did. So with that being said, we'll catch you on the next adventure. Might even end up in the kitchen. Have a good one. Peace. Oh my gosh. Yeah.